With subtle style changes for 2013, the Subaru Outback continues to be a competitor within a growing market looking for crossovers. It goes up against the likes of the Toyota Venza, the Acura TSX Wagon, and even the Honda Cross Tour. This time around, it's back with improved engine quality, better fuel efficiency, and a brand new safety feature called the EyeSight. Now, a lot of people are asking, is it enough of a crossover to stand out in the market and will it get the attention of non-Subaru loyalists? All right, let's give you the goods. Here's the breakdown on the 2013 Subaru Outback. For 2013, there are two engine options. There's a 2.5 liter, which makes 173 horsepower, as well as 174 pound-feet of torque. Today, our tester is a 3.6 liter, which makes 256 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. Transmission options are as follows. Available is a six-speed manual or five-speed automatic. And standard on the 2.5 limited model is a CVT transmission. Of course, with Subaru, the drivetrain is symmetrical all-wheel drive. And when it comes down to fuel efficiency, the five-speed automatic makes 18 in the city, 25 on the highway, as well as a combined 20. For the six-speed manual, there's 21 in the city, 28 on the highway for combined 24, and the CVT wins out at 24 in the city, 30 on the highway for combined 26 miles per gallon. Last but not least, you want to know the price. The base 2.5 liter starts at 23,495, with the high and limited starting at 29,095. And the base 3.6 liter starts at 28,295, with the high and limited starting at 32,095. When it comes to exterior styling for the 2013 Subaru Outback, there aren't a whole lot of changes. In fact, they're mostly on the front fascia. As you can see behind me, a little more of an aggressive grille. So people say to me it looks doesn't look aggressive whatsoever. However, the headlamps, Hawkeye, those definitely give you a little more attention on the road. At the same time, larger fog lights. When it comes to the side profile, the big change are the wheels. Essentially, you've got 17-inch alloy wheels, which are standard on the limited versions of the Outback. Also, when it comes to the roof, there is a new roof rack with cross rails, which actually are adaptable via an Allen key. And for those of you out there who would like more color variety, the Outback is now available in red and silver. When it comes to the brand new Outback, it looks traditionally and classically Subaru. You've got some wood finishings on this particular model, which is the Limited, uh, as well as some nice leathers. But what they've done for the base models, they've upgraded the cloth interior. But the one thing I still question is the wood. It's a little unattractive and it seems a little dated. It makes the Subaru feel like it's from 20 years ago. Now, when it comes to display and technology, on the dashboard, you've got a brand new LCD screen, which gives you different indications of your driving and more. Also, in the center console, for the limited version, that is, you have a front navigation as well as a rear view camera. Styling itself is very simplistic and attractive. It's very Subaru, as I mentioned earlier. When it comes to cargo space, back seats are just as comfortable as what you would find in the front. Lots of leg room as well and ceiling room. When it comes to the trunk space, it's pretty large. I would say above average, and it can compete against large SUVs. And then once you put the seats down, you've got even more cargo space, which makes just moving things around a lot easier. What I like about this vehicle is the handling and steering. What Subaru's done is they have upgraded their hydraulic steering for electric, and now you get this sort of slightly looser feel. Yet they've ensured that loyalists will appreciate this vehicle by keeping it still slightly sturdy. So your control, the dynamic of the steering and the handling feels really, really good. Subaru's also improved the body and made it stiffer, so there's 40% less body roll when it comes to taking turns, and it gives you afforded stability. One of the new safety features, which is strictly for the Outback and the Legacy, and often found in some luxury vehicles, is the brand new EyeSight program. And essentially what it does, it's got two cameras located right next to the rear view mirror that monitor the direction that you're going in to ensure that if there's any obstructions or actions that need to be taken, the car will apply the brakes all by itself. Now how it works, take a look. We're in a controlled space and we're going to test out the new EyeSight function. Now, obviously it works, but what's the sensation truly like? Deaccelerating and see, and it's, whoa, and it stops. We feel good about it and it works. 
Essentially, the eyesight front display gives you an indication that there's an obstacle in front of you. You've got the auditory signal that tells you something's happening. And also, you come to a nice, full, safe stop. In its fourth generation since 1995, the Subaru Outback has evolved moderately in looks both on the inside and the outside. But what makes it worth the money in 2013? The brand new tech, the brand new safety features, as well as the overall family functionality. It is a classic crossover that you either hate or love. But when it comes to all weather conditions, as well as all wheel drive, it is still a champion. For more of this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.